one of the things I've been thinking about lately is implementation and service design. Well, it's actually not lately, but I've been thinking about it quite a lot. And I think we need different mental models when it comes to service design and implementation. And one mental model that I've been using, um, it, I want to share that one with you. And that's a mental model of service design being like creating music, like an organization um, are the people who are creating music. So let me explain, uh, because I can imagine that's already confusing. So imagine that um, you're listening to music, you're going to a concert, and uh, the music is actually being created at the moment that you're there. So the mu musicians play the music and you're as an attendee consuming the music. It's, it's in the moment, it's there. The music is, is sort of implemented on the spot. Well, there are a lot of similarities with services. Services are also created on the spot. Now, here's the thing that I sort of find really interesting. You have different kinds of music. You, have, you can have like a classic uh, orchestra where uh, you have a, it's not a composer, uh, dirigent, it's called in Dutch. Um, who sort of uh, or orchestrates the whole the whole band. So he's helping people, he's helping the musicians to play the music in the right order. And you as an audience enjoy the performance, you're in there, um, but it's really coordinated. It's super structured and it's super coordinated. Everybody has a specific task and knows what they need to do. So that's one kind of music style. On the other hand, you might go to a jazz club and in a jazz club, where when people, when the musicians start jamming, there isn't like a set uh, piece of music that they need to play. They just uh, feel the energy of the room. They see how people respond. They know where, what they are good at, the musicians, and then they just start making music. So that's uh, completely the opposite of like being in a classic orchestra. And of course, there's anything in between. Now, if we go back to service design, I think, for one, uh, services are much more like creating music where the music is created on the spot, the service is created on the spot, and we need to adopt that kind of thinking rather than creating a blueprint and uh, going to the next stage and then at some point implementing a service. I think that's wrong. It's much more realistic to think about services as being implemented all the time. Music is being implemented as it's being played. So that's one thing. And another thing is I think we as service designers often think that we're working with an orchestra, with a classic orchestra where things are sort of really structured and tidy and, and things go according to plan. Well, the reality is probably we're working with a jazz band where it's much more like jamming, it's much more unstructured and the best we can do is not so much design the music but it's we design the environment, we design the room, we make sure that the right audience is in there, we make sure that the musicians have the right instruments. Uh, we can do a lot in preparation but we cannot control the final outcome it's much more messy reality so that kind of mental model in regards to implementing service design or what implementation and service design means it helps me a lot to think about what you can actually do and how, or the kinds of conversations you can have with a client um, the conversations change when you use these kind of mental models what do you think is service design similar to music and if so what kind of music are we creating what kind of organizations are we working for and what 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 kind of mental model would you use i like this one a lot and i'll be sharing probably some more ideas about it in the coming weeks but just wanted to get this off my mind so service design is like making music and especially like making music as a jazz band see ya